Good morning. I just packed up the car and the most annoying thing happened. Oh my God. Um, the fucking push cart fell over and my bin burst open and all of my inventory goes spewing onto the sidewalk. I stood there looking like the damn home alone kid, like. <laughs> uh, that was a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I looked at it like, you have to be kidding me. I packed that bucket so meticulously last night, like, like, like a damn Tetris puzzle to get everything in there so the lid would close. I just took a deep breath and bent down and started slowly picking up every little sticker, every earring. <laughs> I tried my best to remember how I put it in the bin, but of course the lid won't close. So it's okay. Um, I'm driving straight there to go to the market. So there will be hopefully a little less inventory. Um, you know, by the time I pack up tonight. So, let's go, let's drive. Okay, let's drive. Oh. Anyway, ow. First road trip. <laughs> Um, check in. Got all my stuff. There's plenty of space back there. I'm most likely going to camp out back there. I got my sleeping pad and my pillow and a big blanket. It's on the low is like 60. I'm not even gonna need a damn blanket. Um, I am in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I uh, took a breakfast break. I'm at Mickey D's. Got me a little sugary coffee drink. Okay. Woo! Damn, they made this one extra sugary. Oh my god. I'm awake. <laughs> I think it's like, I don't know, almost nine. I'm like two hours in. Wyoming is not far from Denver at all. Like I hit the Wyoming board, state border under two hours. Um, and I think I have like four hours to go. I'm taking kind of the scenic route to get there. I just wanna see what's up that way. I've never driven up to Casper before. So I'm taking like a Northern route and looping West and going through Casper to get to lander there's a route that's like an hour faster but i'll take that one going home because i'll be in a rush going home i'm not really in a rush this morning um i'm still gonna get there with like probably two hours to spare before we have to set up so feeling really good i'm going to eat my breakfast and get back on the road but it ain't much to see, so <laughs> at least not yet. I'm hoping that, you know, central Wyoming is giving some views. We'll see though. All right, let me eat and get back to driving.
I made it to Lander. As you can see, I'm sitting on this little patio. I had to find a place to get some lunch before like the whole event starts. So I found this little cafe and I'm the only one sitting back here. And I ordered a burger and fries. I'm really excited to smudge. I hope it's good. Um, but the drive was like easy. It didn't feel hard or tiring or anything like that. Um, it went by fairly quickly. And I mean, Wyoming's like, I'm in central Wyoming. It's like if Kansas and Colorado came together. It is a little bit mountainous, but also a little bit plain, like grassy plains and farmlands and stuff. Um, yeah. I'm excited to be here. Um, after I eat, I'm going to go pick up a table because I borrowed a table from the organization. Um, as you saw, like on the sidewalk, they put the artist names down where they want people to set up. So um, I already know where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like in front of this bakery, which seems like pretty good foot traffic because who doesn't love a bakery? So I'm excited about that. And I don't know, I hope today goes well. I hope that there's a good turnout and that we sell things, y'all. I really, really hope we sell things because it's just really scary doing stuff like this, knowing that you're putting so much effort and so much money up front. Um, and all you can do is cross your fingers and hope that you break even and then gain profit, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm, I'm putting good energy out there for this weekend. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna just chill out, chill out back here until my food comes. <laughs> I found my spot and I got my tent kind of set up by myself and I got a parking space right in front. Let's go. I got this cute little sculpture behind me. All right, let's set up. my damn faces what the heck <laughs> I like a greased peanut y'all what the <laughs> um I just woke up I camped in my car <sighs> and yes I have plenty of room My toesies are just touching the trunk. Mm. I love camping. <laughs> Even if it's in my car, I just love camping. I love waking up outside and like hearing the, the birds chirp and stuff. It got a little colder than I thought it was. I'm just like in my sports bra and my shorts. Because it got to like, it said it was only going to get to 60 degrees, which I think is hot. <laughs> so I didn't really put on too much, uh, too many layers. Sorry, I'm so tired. Um, I didn't put on too many layers, so I just grabbed my little blanket. And I've been snuggling in my little blanket. And literally, I just have this bin behind me and my paintings. 
Like, I can still roll all the way over. I don't want to get up. But I'm about to um, make myself get up and go to the climbing gym. Um, I want to get some climbing in. I told myself I wasn't going to come all the way to Wyoming for the International Climbing Festival and not climb. Even though... Um, even though I can't climb outside, which is what most people are doing, because tis the season. I have to set my table back up today and be at my table all day again. So I'm going to go to their local gym and get some climbing in at the gym. And, um, yeah, hopefully shower while I'm there. That's like another perk about going to a climbing gym. I'm gonna get clean and ready for the day after. Hopefully they have like public showers. And then I'm gonna go find some breakfast and then set up my table for day two. Ah, yesterday went so well. I will not scream in your faces anymore, but I did my, my adding up. I did my calculations. I definitely broke even and some y'all like today is going to be profit only tomorrow and Sunday are going to be profit only I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that Lander Wyoming was going to show out for your girl like this like what crazy so I hope that today I'll be able to actually see some of the climbing festival. There's supposed to be like a handful of little like competitions going on in the park today where we're set up. Stuff like, I don't know, pull up competitions and dino comps and stuff like that. So, we'll see. We'll see what I can, um, what I can, uh, catch but don't hold your breath because I may not be able to leave my table and that was the reality yesterday I wasn't able to leave my table and see any other artwork I'm hoping that today we are set up a little closer together so that the artists can like support each other like watch each other's stuff while you know we can use the bathroom and get food and stuff like that so um we'll see how that plays out I'm gonna go ahead and get up finally talking to y'all kind of woke me up a little more and um yeah <laughs> day two lander wyoming let's do it And it's gluten free with the mimosa. Let's go. They said they would let me know. 
pretty. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we have I see you're so I'm good with all of the vlogs and updates and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Feel this. <laughs> See, I need to just send you to my friend Jan. You can make him some bread He's my Instagram. for his bakery. Yeah, I would love to. Like, I shouldn't do it. Bread ain't my thing. There's somebody who already does all of this. Where's your booth? So cute. Look at the cookie. It's a cookie. Um, I. Y'all, what? Tiny food made of clay? How cute! All right, I'm like, I wanna show you guys more booths. I wanna see more booths myself, but I need to get back over to my table. Um, there's so many good dogs here. Oh. I'm running back to my car real quick to grab my chair and turn in these little $10 tokens people gave me yesterday. So I have like a hundred or so dollars worth of money to turn in. So yeah, <sighs> day two. Mm. They're setting for the Dino competition over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, cute. I like the wooden labels a lot. If you need any, let me know because I make them in my camper as I travel. No way. I have a laser cutter and built in under my bed. Damn, and I also love your yellow velvet Thank you. Uh, tablecloth. That is I so, inherited this from a friend. So, so chic. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful setup. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Ah. I got my sticker. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I, um, I could take this, this keys off my dress now. I don't really have pockets, so. Um, I do not give myself enough time to set up my table at all. Um, it's like one o'clock now, and I'm really just like settling in, and that kind of happened yesterday too. I need to give myself like an extra 30 minutes, I think, to actually have everything set up the way I wanted to because I'm not I guess I'm not taking into account that I have to like lug everything back and forth and then go park my car and then come back over like all of that stuff it takes like I swear an extra 30 minutes so I need to like keep that mental note to myself um yeah but I'm all set up now and calm so I'm just gonna do a quick inventory check just to update my inventory and make sure you know everything is accounted for and then hopefully we'll start getting some foot traffic because there's really not many people here walking around yet and there's even still people setting up so yeah All right. This 
my game. Um, I put it on Kickstarter, designed everything, and produced it. What? And you have a game? Why yeah, have I, I never? I made it like three years ago, so I don't really advertise it anymore, but it's a word game. So you get a random string of letters, um, something like S G A P D, and then you have to come up with what it could stand for. So these are all climbing related, but you could do like soapy gregories are pretty dangerous. So oh, it has to be acronym. Yeah, like sheesh, guys, always pack dessert. And then like everyone writes in what they think it could stand for, and they submit it to a judge, like Coach Against Humanity, and you see what everyone oh. comes up with. It's really fun because like, okay. like the words that you think of, just like a C word, you know, it's like. You're gonna think of hilarious things naturally, so it's really fun to see what people. All right, let's. See. So this is what I got: creating beautiful rope art. Pretty. Cool. All right. Cross your fingers. Hope I win. All right. So this is table bouldering, and they literally are like they have to climb around the table. So starting at the the top, they gotta go across the top and around. Yeah, isn't it cheating to watch the competition? No. So it's like four o'clock and I've decided to break down my stuff. Um and I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna take an hour to use the bathroom, eat some lunch, look around, and then we'll see if the wind, like it's literally ripping, we'll see if the wind calms down and I can set my stuff back up. But the way this is looking, uh-uh. Like what the hell, let me go fix this. The wind took some time off. I just set my stuff back up and I'm hoping that I can sell some stuff in these last two hours. I'm currently power walking to the bathroom because I really... I'm power walking to the bathroom because I really gotta go. And I've been holding it and holding it and holding it. And I'm also so hungry, but it's okay because I'm about to stack my appetite. So when this shit is over, I'm going to a restaurant and getting a feast. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Ooh. All right, let's get back over there. Okay. Oh, he's not digging our grass. Mr. Horsey, we have Get grasses. Oh, please, please be nice. Please be nice to me, Mr. Horse. I like gobbled that. <laughs> we have. Ooh! <laughs> we go. Wow. Can you give me little pets now. What a majestic creature. <laughs> it's real Wyoming. Wow. It's actually smaller up in person. I thought it was going to be way bigger. Wow. You have four stomachs. Did you know that you have four stomachs? Oh, oh. <laughs> You're stabbing yourself in the jugular. Dude, look at Don't stab you. yourself. Oh, oh my god, it's his licking neck, me. It's licking me. His neck is way softer than his face. <laughs> Let's make some noise for Dylan. Let's get this grip. Come on. is the lamb shank, the taters, and the cocktail for me. <laughs> The way I just fucked up that food, it was so good. Oh, I deserved it. I worked really hard these last two days. Tomorrow's my last day. 
sorry. <laughs> I know I'm annoying. I'm really sorry if you hate mouth noises. Mmm. Dang, that lamb shank was everything. My camera dirty. I'm not even gonna clean it up. Deal with it. Anyway, tomorrow's my last day. And I leave tomorrow. I was chatting with a bunch of um, the artists that were at the trade fair today. And a few of them are not even gonna set up tomorrow because they wanna go rock climb with their friends. And then there's a couple people who are like definitely gonna set up tomorrow because there's like a local farmer's market happening right next to us. And they wanna be able to, you know, maybe get some like local foot traffic. So I think I'm gonna be on that team and do that and possibly leave earlier than expected. Oh, my car key has been acting absolutely stupid. It's really starting to annoy me. Which is crazy because I literally just changed the battery. But anyway, um, ooh, I'm out of breath. I may leave between 12 and 2 o'clock tomorrow, depending on what the crowd is looking like, because today was so slow, like, so slow. Very little foot traffic coming our way. Not that there wasn't, not that there weren't people, like, at the event, they just weren't, con they weren't walking into the little back corner that they had the artist set up in, so... I only made, you know, a little bit today. I had like, I don't know, five or six sales, nothing too crazy. Um, Cause then the wind started acting a fool as y'all saw. And then by the time I set my table back up, there were so many other events and distractions going on that people weren't shopping anymore. They were like watching the competitions, so. It is what it is. Let's see if tomorrow brings us a little more luck. And hopefully we can end it off on a really high note. Because that would just be amazing. So I'm putting that in the atmosphere. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Alright. Good night, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the camping area and go to bed. Because I'm tired. And it's only like 9.30, but I'm tired. So, see you tomorrow. So I'm finally awake. Sorry for the lighting. The two dudes that pulled up next to my truck last night were really freaking chatty Cathy's. <laughs> they talked a lot last night. And then this morning they was up all early talking again. <laughs> I was just like, oh God. And then for, at some point the man's voice started sounding familiar. I'm like, why does God's voice sound so familiar? And then I peek my little eyeballs up and I look at him. I'm like, he looks familiar too. So I get on the Googles, and I was like, oh snap, that's Tommy Caldwell. Like, the Tommy Caldwell, like, the man who, like, has created a master class in climbing and has climbed some of the hardest routes and some of the craziest things. Like, he's a legend in this industry, and he camped next to my car last night. Was well, a dude, Eddie, who I've met a few times, but he didn't remember me, naturally. <laughs> but he's really cool, too. He was he had been a part of the um, Full Circle Everest group, which is like this org that supports all black um, teams of mountaineers. They And they, like, attempt to, like, summit all of these, like, crazy huge peaks or whatever. It's pretty cool. So I chatted with them a little bit this morning, or at least I just said hi and like introduced myself um, this morning after I finally was like, okay, I'm going to get up <sighs> after listening to them talk <laughs> for like an hour. But um, 
neither of them will remember me probably but it's okay i will introduce myself every single time it's day three anyway <laughs> it's day three i'm still in my outfit from yesterday because that's what i slept in i'm not gonna go to the climbing gym this morning so i won't be showering i will be using wet wipes though we are going to wipe it down wipe me down wipe me down <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um and i don't even know what time i'm supposed to set up but i think i need to like get on that soon ish i think the setup is at nine and it's like almost eight or it's eight o'clock now or something like that so let me clean myself up change my clothes and then i guess head over there <laughs> I need my face to not be so swollen and weird looking. Like when I say I was talking to them like this, I was like, yeah, come on, y'all. <laughs> I'm looking like, I was just like, please excuse my ugly ass face. <laughs> like, it was just not cute. I don't know. Yeah, I got some crusties, y'all. We got crusties, but we about to, we about to handle it. <clears throat> I think I said this yesterday, but I don't know if I'm going to stay the whole time today. Really depends on the foot traffic. I got to get home tonight. It's five hours and some change drive. So the sooner I can leave, the better. Um, if I do end up staying till five, it's fine because that was the original plan. But if I can scoot out of here a little earlier, that's what I'm going to do. So <laughs> let's get the day started, y'all. I'm back at the same spot for breakfast by the little creek because it's so cute and the food was delicious and I'm going to try something else on the menu. I'm a creature of habit, y'all. If I find a place and I like it, I will go there most of the time. <laughs> I don't need to try that other stuff. So, cheers. Yum. Let's get into it. We love a key. She looking a little dry, but let's hope she not a little dry. Today was quite the bust. It's about one o'clock now. I think I'm gonna call it a day, pack up and head home. There's pretty much no one else around me now. All the artists that were set up over here have left. I've been trying to stick it out and be a good trooper and be a good businesswoman and, you know, get those last minute sales. I only sold one, two, three, three things today, a total of 50 bucks. I guess that's a little bit of gas money. <laughs> um, but this weekend was pretty successful. The very first day, I, as y'all know, I got blown out of the water. Like I made, I made it, that day made this whole trip absolutely worth it. Even though today and yesterday wasn't super busy. The first day was more than enough. So I'm really happy with that. It's freaking ants getting everywhere. Um, and so now we're gonna pack up and head home and then tomorrow we'll be setting up at Rhino. So yeah don't think i will vlog much on my drive home because i'm just trying to get there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and break down and i'll see you guys when i'm back in denver on my couch probably <laughs> i don't know but definitely home um yeah thanks lander wyoming it's been great <laughs>
Good morning. Oh, I don't have to suffer. What am I doing? I forgot to run my windows down. It's freaking hot. I decided to get cute this morning because we're gonna be inside. AC, not outside in the park, and I'm not camping. I'm literally at home, so I have makeup. <sighs> Insert crowd. Okay, I thought I had some lipstick on my teeth. Um, yeah, it's about 10:30. I'm about to head over, giving myself about a little over an hour to set up. It's not a table. It's gonna be a gallery wall even though I will have like a little stand, um, we're going to, yeah, just roll right into today's market. I packed a couple more items, like some more um, envelopes for prints and some more zines because I sold a ton of zines when I was in uh, Wyoming. So I brought more zines and then more Magic Pinecone prints because those were really popular as well i won't be using this big black board for this one because they have walls i i really we'll see what they look like i'm not going to talk about it but um they have walls and uh hopefully they are nice and sturdy and hopefully today goes well i'm really hoping it does because i would love to end this whole thing off on a good high note We can only be optimistic here, okay? Ugh. All right, let's get there.